What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 43 of my playthrough for Okami. So in the last episode we finally got to the Gale Shrine, which is our second, you know, all on total dungeon of Okami, which I'm really looking forward to, and we fought a Chimera, which might have actually been a Chimera, that might have actually been its real name, but we fought something of a Chimera, and we got this. This. Which, what the hell is this? I have no idea what this is, I thought it was going to be like a pickup item. I assume it's a key? Yeah, it kind of looks like a key. We'll go with a key. Key sounds good. I like that. Keys. Keys are good. In dungeons. Kind of like Zelda lore, which is why I think a lot of people compare this game to Zelda. It's it's like they always say, like, well, if you like if you like Zelda, you'll like Okami, and that, that is true. I'm serious. If this game looks fun to you and you like Zelda games, or even kind of like Zelda games, you'll like Okami. You really will. Because I do. I'm, I'm, a gr I'm a perfect example of that. So now I just got to figure out where the hell we're taking this key. Um. Oh, can I jump from there to the? I'm not even gonna take the risk. Then I'll lose it and never get the key back. Um. I'm sure I'm missing something obvious, but that's gonna be half the fun. Like I said in the last episode, I have no. Oh, you can. W I thought this was a pit right there. Oh my god, I have no recollection of this dungeon really at all. I'm sure I have a. I don't want to say I have a good memory because I have a very good selective memory. And especially for video games, it's always been that way with every video game I've ever played. So, since I've seen this play, like I said, it's a semi-blind pay playthrough. Pay through. I'd like to get paid. <laughs> um, but, no. Uh, really, I I will... It'll come back to me as I continue to play this. I'm sure. But at the moment, I remember nothing, so it's kind of fun. Which is why I'm hesitant to watch a couple of other like games and stuff that I I know are playthroughs out there that I kind of want to watch, but at the same time I don't because I know I'll probably end up getting those games. It, uh, no, which is why I'm kind of looking forward to like I don't buy a whole lot of new games out the belt out the belt out the gate because they're just too expensive. I mean, in reality they're too expensive, and is it really worth it? Like getting it new, like sixty dollars is too much for an average game. So the fact that there's like a bunch of new games coming out that I'm looking forward to is awesome. Oh, okay. This is cool. Examine. Hey, check it out. You can even see the ceiling on this room. Wait, the ceiling on this room? Wait a second. I think it's marked on the floor before. I'm missing something. Uh, oh! No, maybe? Ah, yes! Cool! Oh! Awesome. Oh, okay, so those represent the floors. That isn't... Dude, that is how all elevators should work. I'm not even kidding. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, boy. Okay, whoa. That is a scary-looking demon scroll. Um, Probably got to fight it, I assume. Let's go. That was a scary-looking one, too. That's awesome. Oh, another Chimera thing. Chimera. I'm pretty sure Chimera is just a combination of any two being any two, like... Oh, no, he's drinking stuff. Can we block this? Block it. No, it wouldn't last long enough anyways, would it? Damn, we actually took some damage from that. I have the feeling like I haven't died yet, and I know I have like a full astral patch, which is like another life. I'm not going to be able to slash that back. Oh, damn it. So he's kind of, he is like a kind of a chimera, because he's kind of a combination of like, oh, uh, like, uh, imps, oh. Kind of like imps, well, I, he's not really like imps, but he's kind of like the, uh, the other thing we saw before, like that turtle thing. The thing was pretty awesome. It's kind of like that, but a more beefed up version almost, I guess. Oh, here we go. Okay. I don't know how long we can do this. I don't want to lose my chance to power slash him. But once we pa Really? <laughs> once we power slash him, he's back on his feet. Okay, so that should only take two ro uh, rotations. I think that's the correct word, term of use for that. And a lot of these, like, uh, the past couple of recordings of this one have all been in the same sort of, you know, sort of sitting. Which I don't usually allude to, but I'm saying that because I have just been sloppy in my speaking of words. Not that I'm usually any better than I normally am, which isn't, you know, helping my case anymore, but I'm just extremely tired. Got up early this morning, worked all day. I I could, I just, oh wow, I'm just, uh, I'm very much out of it. But, you know what, I want to play the game. Just, is this, that's what, oh man, I lost that. I think his floor finisher is Slash, actually, but I don't know that for a fact. He's a weird monkey turtle, lion thing, bear thing. No bear, and there's just lion monkey turtle. <sighs> yeah, can you tell I'm tired? Because I'm tired. But, like I said, this, this playthrough was always just about fun. It was never about perfection. 
So it's just it's more it's more like I said it's like a lazy playthrough, a Nintendo Capri Sun playthrough. And I don't mean there's a bad thing at all. Like sometimes those are the best playthroughs. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to take this to the third floor, I imagine. Thank God there's no fall damage. And then again, we are a god. Get it? Thank God. I I I'll stop with the puns. I'm not very good at them. <laughs> sometimes I am. I have my moments. Uh, can I eat? Oh my god, look, you see the Wiimote, like, shaking there? Like, I really have a pretty steady hand, okay? My hand is not, like, shaking like crazy. Like I'm on drugs or something. Okay. Now I gotta do it again. This is a cool elevator system. I like this. This is fun. And it actually makes use of your brush techniques. How cool is that? Like, Cherry Bomb didn't have a whole lot of use before. Like, yeah, you can use it in battle like I have because it's fun, but you don't really have to use it in battle. Like, you haven't had to. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. So far, I've come to both of these doors with a key, so that's too bad for them. I didn't even plan on having the key when I came here. Awesome, it's all night. Whoa, chest. If only we had some water, or another brush technique that could possibly put out fire. Hmm. I wonder if we'll be getting something like that anytime soon. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, paw, paw. Bark, bark. I'm sorry, I, I won't do that again. I also won't be able to get out of here because I don't know where I'm going. I'm blind. I thought dogs could see better in the dark. Oh, here we go. Can they really? I don't think that's true. A lot of people say, a lot of people say that uh, dogs are colorblind. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. It's probably You can probably somehow prove it at the same time. There's no dog that can talk to us to tell us that for sure. Science can only prove so much. However, we're playing a game about a mythological wolf who is a god with a bug on an adventure to save the world with magical brush techniques. So, I don't think science is playing a huge role in ancient Japan. Oh no, the door closed behind us. We're screwed. We can't possibly jump off of here. Now that's one big windmill. I saw it from down the village, but I had no idea it was this big. Hey, what's that? It's swirling around in front of the big windmill. It almost looks like wind, but it's not. It's if the wind were being forced in the opposite direction. I wonder if the swirling evil air is stopping the windmill. Maybe that's the divine wind stopping the blowing. If so, it must be the work of the Crimson Helm. Wonder how we could get rid of the air. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. See? I knew it! That would bring back the divine wind. You're breaking the tension, we remote. Are you serious? Serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on! No! What is it doing? It was fine a second to stop that. There we go! I had to, like, swipe off the Wii sensor bar. What is... Oh... Okay. Oh, give me a break. That's what I'm saying, Isuit. It's the Wii sensor bar. It's not me. Oh, I'm going... The... Oh... I know. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Yeah! Okay, one more left. Oh, uh, come on, that way's so much more natural for me, too, starting, like, left to right. Which, is that the way it's blowing? I don't think it is, but we'll see. There we go. Awesome. All done. Now that the Divine Wind's back, I bet the big windmill will... Yes, yes, yes! It's starting to spin. Look how strong the divine wind's blowing. Sure hope this divines this divides away evil down in Kusa village. Now what? Oh boy. But you know, I find it a little odd that we could already, you know, like we could already do the brush technique without the god's permission or gift, you know what I mean? So, really? We, okay, I had to like wipe the set. That's so weird. Well, if that's what works, I don't care. Ah, <laughs> uh, a 
Matarasu, origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. For too long, I, Kazagami, god of the wind, have walked a shattered path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. I bet it was the divine wind that brought the wind back. Oh, you think? <laughs> the wind god. The Kazegame. Gale storm brush technique. That's awesome. And I like that god too, and I like I like Kazegami. Kazegage, Kazegami. I, I like I like that the sound of that word. I like the Japanese language, I really do. Makes more sense than our English language. Let's try it out. Hey look, the windmill looks like the good target. Well yeah, we need to. If the doors land on us, we had no way out. Thank god we got that brush technique, right? Alright, and I think it count it like it actually makes a difference which way you're going with the wind. And it's I, I think it's the coolest one too. I mean, out of all the things you can draw in the game, I think this is the coolest one in my opinion. Yeah. What? That registered? <laughs> God, I don't get this game. I don't get it. It's it's okay. That door opened cool, so I don't care. Yeah. Ah, refreshing wind. That's a really cool power to have. A really good power to have on us, too. Because we don't, you know, I mean, the brush technique we can do anywhere, too, but... Like, the water one we need water for, it's this one. It's cool. There's always wind. Always air around us. Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we could do. Let's turn this place upside down to find it. Okay. Let's do it easy soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, look at that. that. Can you believe how dark it was up here before? Awesome that we're getting this one now. Nice. Oh, sweet. We needed that, too. Sun Fragment. Collect three to one solar energy. Awesome. Which actually reminds me, now that we have uh, one more of those, we actually probably have some praise saved up. From, maybe? If we're lucky? 102... Oh wow, we can't upgrade anything. I am so wrong. We haven't gotten much praise, have we? I thought we would have had some more by now, but oh well. We don't desperately need anything, though. Ink is the next thing I'm going to be upgrading. Definitely. We got a good amount of health now. Plenty of healing items. We'll be fine. I'm not worried. It's not too tough of a combat game. That's what I like about it, though. Like, Zelda has never been a... Sh it's never been a really hard combat game. It's always been more focused on the puzzles and story. But Okami, on the other hand, is a bit, is a bit uh, tougher for a, a combat game. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure those symbols off there mean fire, which is interesting. Kind of cool, nice touch. Wait a second, there's treasure chest. I know he's soon. So with our new magical power... Oh yeah, it's awesome. I really do like drawing that. It's a very smooth, uh... What's what's the word? Oh, we got the map. Wait, what's the word? Like, uh, motion? Yeah, motion of the ocean. Don't rock the boat, rock the boat. Baby. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I know, I said I'd stop doing stuff like that. Gotta, gotta keep my promises. Which, if anyone knows, uh, my promises, uh, they're, I, I am a man of my word, but, you know. Geronimo! Again, God, thank God we have no fall damage. If we were Link, we'd be going, uh, right now, <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, you know what, now that we have the power of the Gale Shrine, the wind, which is probably one of my favorite techniques, I just think it's, I just like drawing that, you know what I mean? Just, ah, smooth, I just, I just love it. The wind smooth. I don't know. <laughs> Someone could invent a tagline for that, but you know, now that we have all that and we've uh, kind of got more of a foothold into Gale Shrine, I think we're gonna end things off right here. And in the next episode, we'll pick things back off and keep going. So until then, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>